Hello, awesome Taurus. Time to do your April reading. Let's see what shows up. So this is, for most of you, going to extend uh, beyond April. Uh, so we want to know what is coming towards you in the month of April. This is, of course, a soulmate reading, love reading, but also anything else that the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good, they will show in this reading as well. Um, let's do this. So whatever it is that Taurus is going to be dealing with universe and that's going to start as of today uh march 22nd gonna extend even beyond april for most of you universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of taurus <coughs> for taurus highest good please universe what's coming towards taurus what will taurus be dealing with and also regarding their soulmate, no matter what sign they are. Eight of Swords, wow. Five of Wands, wow. This is challenging, Tor. Yeah, challenging. You under a lot of stress. You under a lot of stress, worry. Eight of Swords, Five of Wands, Ten of Wands. You are very stressed out from whatever is going on around you. A lot of chaos. Uh, people showing up here in this particular uh, five of wands in this deck as chaos. So you see these warriors in a battle outside of a castle. So there is showing up here some kind of social disruption, chaos. Uh, you are scared of what's going to happen. Don't overanalyze. Remember, this is eight of swords, which means... It's self-inflicted mental anguish. Do not let yourself fall into negative thinking too much. Remember, we have very powerful minds, uh, individually and collectively. Do not allow yourself to be negative. Uh, try to get yourself out of it, whether it's through meditation, prayer, uh, some calming music. Because what we think of the most and what we fear, we will manifest in our physical lives. So very important, whatever it is that got you so worried and concerned and feeling negative, uh, try to control that uh, negative thinking. Uh, yeah, be, be informed, whatever it is that worries you, inform yourself. But... Uh, <clears throat> And it's important to be objective and honest and truthful, but don't allow yourself to fall into negativity too much. Uh, this shows somebody here that loves you, that is not expressing their emotions to, uh, that they feel for you. King of Cups means uh, unexpressed love, hidden love. So this person has true feelings, whoever it is that's showing up here for you. This is a masculine energy. So for most of you, you dealing with the men. King is a very masculine energy. But King of Cups specifically uh, means this person loves you but is not showing or expressing to you that they have feelings for you. They care for you. Let me see more detail. Universe, what is coming towards Taurus? What is Taurus dealing with? Uh, yeah, Wheel of Fortune. So whatever it is that you worried about, that got you so concerned, is some kind of karmic situation. Um, some of you are dealing with the Leo. Here is a lion holding the sword of truth. Wheel of Fortune means the situation that got you worried will turn around. Uh, but this also means it's a karmic situation. So whoever is involved is going through it. If it's collective, it looks like it's on a collective level. We are learning something from it. We are spiritually graduating and learning something from it. Yeah, you see the star. This is beautiful. Two major arcanas, great major arcanas, Wheel of Fortune and the star. Some of you may be dealing with Aquarius. <clears throat> nine of pentacles 
don't worry about money so much. So some of you are very stressed out about finances, your financial future, your financial independence. So there is somebody that loves you and wants to uh, either, this means reconciliation. And for those of you that have not been involved with this person, this person uh, is showing up here with the judgment as uh, wanting to let you know how much you mean to them emotionally. So this also means past life connection. So you know this individual from past incarnations. Sorry about the cards. Okay. Let's do more, more detail for Taurus, please. Uh, I don't like this energy. We're going to clarify it. Knight of Wands. Ten of Swords. So there is somebody lurking around. That's a player energy with Ten of Swords. I, I don't like this energy, especially the combination of the two. Uh, yeah. Uh, Knight of Wands with Ten of Swords. So it's somebody who is a player looking for one night stand, two night stand, three night stand. Yeah. So you have somebody who is very serious and mature and responsible. And you have a player around you as well. But you are wise enough to know that you are too good for a player. Um, this shows you're going to be okay financially. So you are worried about your financial stability, financial future, your money situation, your job. Uh, nine of Cups with Nine of Pentacles. You're going to be fine. Uh, this person, whoever it is that cares for you deeply emotionally but is not telling you at the moment or showing you at the moment, is contemplating they are at a crossroads this is a stalemate energy two of swords they're trying to figure out the best plan of action in this situation with you so even though we asked about your energies this person is thinking heavily of you and then you have some player gigolo romeo energy over here very immature non-committal wants to just have a one night stand with whoever they can get and they chasing different people. This Romeo, this play over here, they chasing different people. Very promiscuous, immature individual. Um, here, on the other hand, the person that showed up as King of Cups, the opposite energy of this idiot over here. This person is serious about long-term commitment, Four of Wands. I absolutely love the energy of this man and can't stand this gigolo over here is nasty so you have these energies around you and energies of fear of what's going on around you whatever it is that got you so worried uh, it's a karmic situation we all gonna whoever is involved we all gonna learn from it um yeah let's now go to your soulmate's energy what's the the good person the person that showed up as King of Cups, not this idiot that showed up as Knight of Wands. You're not interested in losers. Let's get to the bottom of the King of Cups, the serious soulmate. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus. For Taurus, highest good, please. Universe, what is the soulmate of Taurus? that showed up as king of cups what is the soulmate soulmate of taurus uh going through what's coming up for the soulmate of taurus that showed up as king of cups what's coming towards their them in their life and how are they relating to taurus at this time yeah so here's taurus energy and um hierophant so this person sees you as marriage material long-term serious monogamous commitment this is what they're looking for five of pentacles so they not around you that much and some of them are not around you lately they miss you this person misses you five of pentacles ten yeah they're very serious about long-term commitment so they see you as somebody who they would want to build life with. This is very serious. Hierophant with 
Ten of Pentacles in a love reading means this person wants you as uh, their soulmate for life, meaning they want to live with you, be with you, build serious life with you. Marriage. This means marriage, living together. You guys have, you guys have long soul history with this justice card. So remember, you have a free will to handle any of your relationships as you want to. And the universe respects your free will. We all have a free will when we're born. So it was destined for you to meet this person. But what the two of you decide to do with this relationship moving forward is not up to the universe. It's up to you and how the two of you deal with each other. But you have a chance, just like you had chances in other lifetimes to build something serious. You have another chance in this lifetime. The only difference is you are in different physical bodies. You have different physical appearance, but it's the same soul. So you guys go back long, long time together into other lifetimes when the two of you were learning from each other through uh, romantic relationships. Let's see clarification. The soulmate, the, the, the decent one that showed up as the king of cups. How is the soulmate towards Taurus? And what are they dealing with in their life, especially in April? Eight beautiful. So this person is uh, popular amongst people. And they have other people that are interested in them, but they're not paying attention to those people around them. They're only paying attention to you. I love this. That means this person is not promiscuous. This person is serious. They're looking for serious one-on-one -on -one commitment, not something uh, crazy like the the other one showed up, like the idiot showed up with the Knight of Wands. They miss you. Why do they miss you? Because you guys are soulmates. Here it is, lover's card. They have this longing for you emotionally and spiritually. So there's a profound soul connection they're feeling with you. They're very wise soul. I like them. A lot of them could be Virgo, Gemini, another Taurus, and Libra. No matter what sign they are, this person has a lot of wisdom, inner wisdom. Uh, this person has lived many lifetimes. They're concentrating on their trade, their money. This also means another very important thing is that this person would like to see the both of you work together on this connection and see what develops. They want to see if you have any interest uh, and what kind of interest. Let's see. This is going to be extra. Just popped out. So we're going to read that as extra. Judgment. Beautiful. So they would like to uh, let you know uh, their interest. Also, this shows for some of you who have not been in touch with this person for a while, they want reconciliation. Beautiful. Justice card from two different decks. So you guys have soul contract. What does that mean? You signed a soul contract before you incarnated into this lifetime together that you would meet each other under under certain circumstances. The meeting was a faded event. You were supposed to meet each other. But how you handle this connection, this relationship, and how far you allow it to progress will depend on your free will and their free will. So it's not up to the universe. You need to put work into it. Interest, work, love, and so will they. They will have to do the same thing. Uh, let me see. Emperor showed up, which is Aries energy, but could be any, uh, could be any sign whatsoever. Let me see the, let me see the extra ten of Pentacles. Wow. So for some of you, Taurus, this is somebody from your past that didn't take you seriously, but that's just for some of you. Remember, this is a collective reading. It could be any sign whatsoever. This person knows your value now, recognizes your worth. Ten of Pentacles again on top of Ten of Pentacles from another deck. 
you have somebody who recognizes your worth, your value, and they want to be a part of your life, whether it's somebody from your past or somebody new. I want to clarify the emperor more, though. Let me pull two more energies, universe, to clarify this emperor energy towards Taurus. So you guys had... If you're dealing, especially if you're dealing with an Aries from your past, you guys had a lot of problems with communication. They were inconsistent. There was a lot of mm, arguments of serious nature. You cut them out. Uh, you blocked them. You got tired of BS. This also means that that particular person is not giving up. They, they being very strong, they feel beat up. So they've learned your worth, your value. Yeah, so this pe this person finally is growing up. The, for those of you that are uh, dealing with an Aries from your past that was stubborn like a jackass and selfish, look at this, Ten of Pentacles with Ten of Cups. So this person is learning. No matter who you're dealing with, uh, the, the person that showed up earlier as King of Cups, this shows here that they want this they're very serious about you and that's what they would like to see happen between the two of you in the future uh serious long-term monogamous relationship wow this was fabulous i love this reading so we're gonna go into the extended we're gonna ask the good soulmate that showed up as king of cups we don't care about the gigolo you already know you are too good for gigolos right taurus we're gonna ask <clears throat> In the extended read, the current, the good, good soulmate. Oh, I just looked. Uh, here's soulmate uh, connection with this beautiful energy of King of Cups that showed up earlier. So you guys have been learning and teaching each other throughout many lifetimes. So this is another lifetime you are supposed to be in each other's lives and decide what it is you want to learn together. This is beautiful energy. I absolutely love it. Let me see underneath a lot of you are dealing with a fire sign if it's not a fire sign it's somebody who is attractive uh popular successful sure of themselves but not arrogant uh king of wands wants to take action towards you the bottom of the deck i'm sorry the bottom of underneath the um king of wands is five of swords they are surrounded by a lot of drama five of swords with the moon uh a lot of drama around them from other people chaos chaos showing up around them so i think as i'm doing these readings lately it shows a lot of chaos this may be uh, pertaining to the uh, social situation right now around the globe no matter where you live everybody's worried and uncertain of the future but look at this after that is four of wands it's absolutely beautiful we all gonna be okay no matter what it is we all learning something very important it's good to be wise and discerning in the meantime so we're gonna ask their true current long-term plans and intentions anything they may have up their sleeve uh, I don't think they have anything up their sleeve with that beautiful energy, but we're going to ask anyway whether they're hiding it on purpose or not, but the universe feels you should be aware of at this time for your highest good. And of course, based on the energies that show up in the extended read at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from the universe, from spirit on how to best handle this soulmate connection and anything else they want to show you. So please click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there thank you so much taurus love you guys for your support and appreciate you greatly